So a lot of people have been asking me, what is this game? It's not Project Sakai, it looks different. And they're right, it's not. It's essentially an open source rhythm game emulator called Sonalus. So, Sonal, 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 uh. Anyways, that's the name. Uh, moving on. Solus is used to, it's used to emulate different touchscreen based rhythm games, but I only play the Project Sakai type charts. Now you're probably asking, what's the point of playing this over just official projects? Customs. We're not going to beat around the bush. You're here for the custom songs. I came here for the customs. We all just want the customs. Look at this. That's what you want, right? And yeah, that's the main selling point of this. Uh, the whole game is basically community driven, so anyone with the right knowledge can make their own chart and share it with the community, which is awesome. But let's look at some other things that Solmolos has to offer. <laughs> like their life system. Quote unquote life system. I say this because the life doesn't really affect anything. You can just toggle it on and off if you want, or you can leave it on. You can still play until the end. It really helps if you're just trying to practice with no risk. And this is something that JP added recently to Project Sakai. Now, say that you're playing something and the patterns are just insane. To the point where you can't even understand what is going on in front of you. Well, in Sonal Wars, <laughs> you're actually able to slow down the song. So, for example, if I'm having trouble playing a certain song, I'll drop it down to maybe, I don't know, 80%. And practice many 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 times and when i'm feeling more confident i'll slowly raise the speed back up to 100 percent also in terms of being able to customize your gameplay experience sonalus has a ton of options and settings to go through i mostly leave everything how it is and only mess with the speed and the offset and then another feature i want to highlight that deserves more attention is the fact that you can download and save certain charts that you like and you're able to play them offline i mostly play at home with my wi-fi but occasionally I'll have to go out, and being the person that I am, I, I'll usually pull out the iPad after about 10 minutes of dead air. Anyways, that's just a general introduction to Sauna Walls. Now for the part you probably clicked on this video for, and that is how to install Sauna Walls. <laughs> this is getting worse and worse. I'm not even trying anymore. Alright, so to be fair, I've only installed this game once with one method. And I know of another method that I want to try out. So let's do that. Let's install it together. Yay. Also, I should mention that I'm doing this video on an iPad, but it should also translate to iPhones as well. But if you happen to have an Android or any non iOS device, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Get fucked. You suck. <laughs> Go back to playing Project Sakai, loser. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so I don't happen to have an Android device with me. So I can't really show you, but I'm told that the process is a lot easier than having to do it on an iPad. So hopefully there's a tutorial out there. If not, maybe someone can be kind enough to send me their tablet to make a video on. <laughs> but you don't have to. It's fine. So the first method I want to try to use is this thing called the Alt Store. It lets you sideload third-party applications onto your device, and that's what we're doing. We're not downloading or uploading anything to a server or a cloud. We're moving a file from our computer side by side to our iPad. Side loading. I think that's like the simplest explanation that I can do. Hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, let's figure out how to do this. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go to the Alt Store website. That's altstore.io. I have a link down in the description. Uh, I hate reading. <laughs> um, so you get two choices. Mac OS or Windows, um, currently on a Windows PC right now. I would assume that they're very similar. The steps will be similar. So if you're on a Mac, you can still follow along. But yeah, just click download. And um, I already have it downloaded here. So the download is in a zip file. Once you open that up, um, you'll see like a, a setup thing. Just go ahead and install that. So after it's done installing, next what you want to do is open it up. Alt server. You might have to do a restart on the PC, but um, when I tried to start it for the first time, it said, oh, you don't have like iCloud or iTunes installed. Here, install it. It's like, oh, okay, thanks. So I installed iTunes. Your alt server and iTunes should both be installed now. Now I'm on iTunes. I just signed into my account. 
Now I have to connect my iPad to the computer. Shoot, do I have do I have a USB C cable long enough? Hold on. Wait, wait, I'll be, I'll be right back. I've got a really long, long uh USB C to USB C USB A cable um from a like a three week period where I was like super into Beat Saber. I bought a whole VR set and now it just kind of sits there. My setup is so jank. Oh, I gotta go all the way around. Okay, one second. Oh no, the cable fell. It fell down. I got it. False alarm. Do you trust this computer? Yes, I trust this. Okay. Uh, don't, don't, don't look. Wait, no, I messed up. <laughs> now on the iTunes side, do you want to allow this computer to access information on iPad too? Yes. I guess you only need the cable to connect to the computer once, and then uh, you have to go in to iTunes go to your iPad and your device and then click sync iPad over Wi-Fi or sync iPhone, whatever, over Wi-Fi. Done. I think that's it. Is that it? Can I unplug now? Oh my God, it's such a hassle. Uh, at the bottom right, you should see this little diamond icon, right? This is the alt server and you're gonna wanna install alt store, select your iPad, so you need to log into your iTunes accounts. Did it work? Is it going? Hello? The app, the alt store is here, but you can't um, open it. So yeah, so you gotta go to your settings, general, VPN and device management, and you should see your iTunes account, your email, and trust, trust, is that it? Can I use it now? Yeah, I can use it. And also another thing, uh, you also wanna go into your settings and go to privacy and security all the way into the bottom and you gotta see developer mode, you wanna turn that on. This is basically telling your iPad that like, hey, I know this program isn't like, you know, fully released or official program, but I'm a developer, I'm, I'm testing it out. I wanna test out this app. And they're like, oh, okay, all right, yeah, go ahead, yeah. Okay, so now that we have the alt store installed, I think we have to download Sonolus. Sonolus. So this is the website for Sonolus. And uh, it's asking, are you iOS or Android? We're gonna click iOS. Right now we're just mainly looking for the IPA or the, the Sonolus program. And we can do this one right here. Can I just open it in alt store? Did it work? Oh, it's loading, okay. Oh, okay, cool. So now I guess Sonalus is installed. Is that it? Wow. So that's how you do it via alt store. And that is okay. If you noticed, uh, when you're looking at the apps, it'll say seven days. So Apple, unless you have a develop, like a paid developer account, if you're only using a free account, like what we have, like what most likely you have, what I have, we can only have the app on for seven days. So I think before the seven days is up, you'll have to refresh. Yeah, there you go. So you just have to remember to refresh the app every before the seven days is up. Otherwise, you'll have to reinstall it again. Or you can pay $100 a year and get 365 days for your app before you have to refresh it. So this is the, I guess, the free method that I would recommend doing. So if you have $20 to spend, I recommend doing sign you less. Yeah, no, no relation to Sonolus. <laughs> but I, I just feel like this is a lot easier to do. So you basically have to create an account and link your device to your account. I have my iPad Pro 11 inch here linked to this account. So for this method, you don't really need a PC. You can just do everything on the iPad itself. So I'll just go back to the Sonolus website and download the sideload without PC. Save to files and let's save it onto 
on my iPad. I go back to Signulus, and what I want to do is upload app, and we're going to choose file, choose file, and it's right here. And you're going to upload that. Now it's going to take a minute to upload, so you can just let it do its thing. Okay, so now that the app is done uploading and done being signed, we can install app. And it's asking you, would you like to install Sonalus? Yes. Install. Did it work? Oh, there it is. It's installing. So yeah, the paid method is a lot easier, a lot simpler, less, less fidgeting around. You can just do everything from your iPad. I could do this from my bed. But, but if you don't have the 20 bucks to spend, that's understandable. Not everybody has disposable income, and I respect that. So the alt store is a good alternative to installing Sonalus. So now that you have Sonalus installed, what do you do now? Let's see. Go tap to start. Now it wants you to select a language. I speak English. <laughs> oh god, ugh. Ugh. Okay. Dark theme. So where do you go from here? Let's click play, right? Now you have custom servers and you have collections. But you can't really do much with that. So on your computer or on your phone, go to the Sonalist website right on the front page. Scroll down to community and they have a little Discord. You can join that Discord. And on that Discord, you will find a great community of other rhythm game enthusiasts. And then on the Discord, you'll be able to find different servers that you can join for the different games available to play on Sonalus. But the server I like to browse is this one right here. CC.7C7C. <laughs> That's the server that I go on. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as the default. And there you go. So now under custom servers. So this server only hosts songs. So if you go down to levels, click the uh, ellipsis here. You can preview each of each. You can preview each song. So once you find something you maybe want to play, just tap on it and you can hit play. When you hit play, it'll load, you know, the song, the level, and everything will load, and then you can start playing. Cool. So as you can see, we didn't do any of our settings yet. So just quickly, um, that would be in configuration. Don't have to worry about all this stuff. You can go ahead and go play it on your own, but what I'm here for is note speed. Raise that to what you normally play on Project Sakai. And then all the way at the bottom is device audio offset. This is basically what timing is on Project Sakai. I'm still working on what my timing is here. Uh, I feel like it's always changing. And this, there's, it's, it's really advanced. If, if you don't know what you're doing, just leave it at zero. But I know that I'm pretty comfortable around 69 milliseconds. <laughs> You can keep browsing, find songs that you like and whatnot. And then you can hit save. And then it's asking you, where do you want to save it? So let's make a, a new collection and call it, I don't know, favorite songs. Good. We'll click that. Now it's saving that song to that folder. Favorite songs. So it's saved. So you can exit out, exit out of the server, and go down to your collections, which is, I have my favorite songs now, and I have a favorite song. So this is downloaded. Now I can just play it whenever I want. Oh, it sounds. Anyways, there you have it. That's how to install Sonalist. That's how to get started. Uh, there's a lot more to this than what I've explained, but hopefully this gets your foot in the door and you can start playing and having fun and torturing yourself because a lot of these charts are really hard. They're really, really hard. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you found this uh, tutorial very useful. I'm sorry, it's the, this whole video is very scuffed. I, I just kind of went in. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this video has been fun. <laughs>
to say the least. And also, I just wanted to do a quick uh, plug for my store. We have stickers available. You know, like the one show. God, what is going on? <laughs> Got the one show stickers, and we also have Ghost Type Miku from the Project Voltage collab. But then also, we have keychains of each design. But yeah, if you're interested, check them out on my store. It's luckyprime.us. I have a link down in the description. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And here's a video that YouTube thinks you might enjoy.